hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. But well, we always talk about how you've got to be quick when you go through your progressions, and here's another prime example. Trying to look downfield, he was standing in the pocket, but just couldn't find anyone open, could he? No, not enough time. They hit him and forced that incompletion. It's brought in by Harris. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he goes. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And all deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. And the Giants have it. It's picked up. And he will score. Touchdown, Giants. Kyle Rudolph. Excellent work there to get in on the touchdown run. And the Giants are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Rolling to his right. And this is going to be intercepted the years of not screaming out screen 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 with my defensive training they want to keep those pass rushers honest and they did so there and they wind up picking up positive yardage on second down now it's Jacobs and he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one yard line I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive the holes have been large and they've been barreling and he is a Cooper from his end zone and only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half, it didn't get it moved. And now look at this, big game, but a fumble. And the Raiders get up. They'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. From the gun, it's Carr. Open man is Edwards. He's got it. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football. Right now, I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield. Oh, yeah. And he's in. Touchdown. Right at the 12. It'll go as a loss of about six, and now it brings up third. into the game and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick 80 percent of the time the team expecting it they do actually recover the ball which is what we saw here i just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number kind of like when the coaches tell us well when you score on special teams 93 percent of the time you win the game i'm still waiting to see that number is empirical and it's intercepted at the goal line Throwing his car. He'll find his running back here, Richard. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. So they'll wind up losing five yards on the play. And that'll bring up a third down. Now Carr. He's going to let this go deep for Jackson. And he takes this one into the end zone. All of a sudden, here in the final minute, things get a little bit tighter. No, we're not cheering. No, we're not rooting. But I am excited about this. And I know you are, too. We got a ball game again after that big-time strike. Big-time strike, and you are right. Don't go anywhere yet. This thing's not done. Extra point by Carlson. Up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Oh, it's loose, and the Raiders have it. Now Prescott. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked by Emmanuel Mosley. There he goes, left side. Another day, another day. And into the end zone. 